89, this is Donna Hugh here and I would like to speak to you today about why citizenship would be a good option for you to take. So in this presentation I'll be talking to you about the following things. Why citizenship might be a good option for you, the themes and the course content covered in year 10 and in year 11, information about the exam board and exam structure, where this qualification can take you and the skills that can be transferred into other areas. Okay, so why choose citizenship? I believe that citizenship motivates students to become thoughtful and active citizens, who engage enthusiastically in public life and also community and global issues. It gives you the opportunity to gain knowledge on democracy, government and law, and develop the ability to create a sustained and well-balanced argument. You also have the opportunity to make a difference, campaigning in active citizenship and having a voice. I'll talk more about this later. We cover a variety of topics which embrace individuality and diversity. And I believe that that is a really important lesson for people to understand. <clears throat> you don't use any prior knowledge. But you do need a first for learning and a possible interest on how our country is run and how the world is led is also quite useful. So themes and course content. The course is made up of five themes, effectively five units, which are taught over the two years. 60% of the course is taught in year 10 and 40% in year 11. This leaves us a lot of time in year 11 to go over and revise content that was taught in year Exam preparation skills, however, are incorporated in Year 10 and Year 11. We cover lots of exam practice questions and past papers. So even though we do put a bit of focus more so on Year 11 in terms of revision, we are practicing those valuable exam techniques throughout the two years. So you can see here that, that there is a breakdown of Unit theme A, B and C. These are the units that are covered in year 10. And here you can see theme D and E. These are the units that are covered in year 11. Please pause this video if you feel like you'd have, like to have a closer look at those themes and the possible topics that you would study if you choose citizenship as a GCSE. So looking at the exam, there are two papers. The first paper, as you can see here, is one hour 45 minutes and it's 50% of the qualification worth 80 marks. You can also see the breakdown of what is covered in paper one. We then have paper two, where you can see, again, it's an hour and 45 minutes, 50% of the qualification and 80 marks. Now this paper is broken down into three sections and you can read a little bit more there about that information. Please, again, feel free to pause this to investigate that a little bit further. Pathway. So where can citizenship take you? Citizenship provides a good basis for many careers and further study because of the skills and practical knowledge it teaches you. You could use this to study citizenship at A level, history and sociology and law. The subject is highly thought of by employers and has links to careers in teaching, law, journalism, TV and film research the travel industry or public services. Please also see here some helpful links which might um, give you a bit more information about how citizenship um, is taught and how it is broken down. I wish you all the luck with choosing your options and it will be absolutely wonderful if you chose citizenship. I would really look forward to teaching you. Have a lovely day.